Hi, my name is Dr. Sang Lee. I'm a spine surgeon. I'm specializing in endoscopic spine surgery at Johns Hopkins. So let me introduce endoscopic spine surgery today. That is the least invasive spine surgery. So uh, I have nothing to disclose related to this topic. Endoscopic surgery is well established and standard procedure in a lot of surgical fields in modern medicine. For example, many procedures in the laparoscopic surgery or arthroscopic joint surgery are good examples. But sometimes we are doing very rare endoscopic surgery like intrauterine surgery. Uh, MIS is that means minimally invasive surgery is very popular these days for small incision, less bleeding, and less muscle damage and better outcome. So uh, let me show you spinal endoscopy. This is the spinal endoscopy. So it looks like a regular uh, joint endoscopy, arthroscopy, but it has a, a working channel inside. So through this space, we can do a lot of procedures like a uh, disc removal or bony spur removal or decompression of spinal stenosis. This is a type of spinal endoscopic surgery. So to remove the disc here, we have to access through the back. So that means that we need uh, some necessary muscle damage and ligament damage. That's innocent structures. But instead of that, the endoscopic make a small incision side of the spine and access the disc herniation and remove the disc out. This is the picture during surgery. We make a small tiny portal the side of the spine and working on the spinal canal. And this is a video clip. It shows a procedure of the disc removal using spinal endoscopy. So after disc removal, you can see the epidural space and free the nerve root there. Okay, so another approach is the interlaminar approach. This is a very identical to conventional open procedures, but make a small incision in the midline of the back and go directly to the spine. So uh, at the advantage of this procedure is a indication can be expanded to big disc herniation, migrated disc herniation, or more complicated cases. Uh, this is a video clip shows the uh, interlaminar discectomy procedure. So we remove the laminectomy like uh, exactly the same way to open procedures and access to the epidural space and protect the nerve root and remove the disc out. That's a almost 100% same procedure like open uh, microscopic discectomy. This is a cervical spine case. This patient had a conventional anterior cervical spine surgery several years ago and started to have a new arm pain. MRI showed the new disc herniation level below to prior fusion. So the conventional approach is a goal Prot again and do the revision access and extension of fusion after disc removal. But uh, we made a decision to do endoscopic surgery for this patient. This is a procedure during surgery. So with the endoscopic access, we can find the nerve root and the ruptured disc fragment and we could remove the big disc herniation without any nerve damage and minimal surgical mobility. This is a rupture disc and uh, this is the surgical scar. It's less than one centimeter and a minimal post-operative surgical pain. So now we're expanding indications of endoscopic spine surgery like uh, lumbar spinal stenosis or revision surgeries some cases of thoracic disc herniation and cervical spinal cord compressions. So uh, if you or your patient need uh, endoscopic surgery or any help, do not hesitate to contact me, to email me or to call this number.
Thank you very much.